Hi there, I'm gonna teach you guys how to um, create your Canva. You need to go to canva.com and when you um, get to where you're supposed to get, it should look like this. What I want you to do is I want you to go up here to features. Um, this is when you're starting a new project. Um, we're going to do a poster or a flyer. Um, you can look, 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 look here. I don't see any. If you don't see any, then you can come down here and there's some down here. So I'm just gonna click on poster. These will not be poster size. These will just be um, eight and a half by 11 size. And what you're going to do for your all about me poster is you are going to use the sheet that um, you did in class. You, if you wanna create a background as your favorite color, you click background over here. These are your solid colors. Click on one and it changes. Click on the other, it changes. Don't wanna do that. You can click a texture. Please make sure that you're looking for the things that say free, like this one says Canva, this is not free. Um, if you choose something that has what they call a watermark, that means you have to pay money for it. When we go to print it, um, it will not work. So you want to use anything that says the word free. If it doesn't say free, then assume that you have to pay money or click on it and then you will see that it has the Canva watermark and we don't want that. All right, once you choose your background, then you're gonna to wanna to choose um, a font for your name. So here you wanna to go to text. Um, any of these fun things you can choose, or if you just want to type yourself, you just choose this and then you will change the um, font. So what I'm gonna do is I like the cheers one. You click it, you place it, and then I'm double clicking highlighting to get rid of it to spell my name. Make it bigger or wider, just adjust to the font. You can make it bigger if you can enter if you would like. Change the text color. I want it to be pink, sure, teal, green. You just keep messing around until you like what you see. I think I like that blue. All right. So you got to include your name. Um, make sure that you see um, the requirements. The requirements are in Google Classroom. Now you have to add eight things about you. Um, and they can be pictures. They can be, uh, I, here it's kind of fun because it's graffiti, so I might throw some words on there as well. But to add a picture, you're going to go to Elements. You can find Clip Art. Or you can go to Photos and find Actual Photos. Um, so if, let's say that we are looking for, uh, I want to say how many pets I have. So I have a cat. So I'm going to look for a cat. And here brings these. Again, remember, looking for the free. I like this guy because it looks like he's been painted on because I'm going with the graffiti theme. So I've got a cat. I also have a dog. So let's see here if they have one like this. Oh, and they do. I'm going to click it, put it on here put it down here, but I want it to flip, so you can do that too. You just gotta come up here to flip. I'm gonna flip horizontally, and now they're facing each other. So you can see Canva is really easy to work with, even if I wanted to change his color, make him a blue dog, I can make him a blue dog, I can make him a purple, pink, whatever you want. Um, my dog is kind, eh. yeah, I'll go golden. My cat is black and white, so I'm gonna leave it right like that. The more detail you can add, the better. All right, um, I'm also gonna show you how to upload a photo. Um, let's pretend that I want to um, look up Roblox. Sorry, we don't have any Roblox. All right, well, I am going to go to open another tab. I'm gonna type in Roblox. I'm gonna click on images. And I'm gonna find what I like, all right? Um, let's see here. I just want all the characters. Okay. I'm going to um, right click. When you right click on your Chromebook, it's a two finger click, just a single click on your mouse pad. You're going to, yours is going to look a little different because I'm on a Mac. You want to uh, save your image as. Now what's going to happen, mine asks me to save here. Yours will automatically show up right here that it's downloading. So I have to save mine as Roblox. All right, now for you guys, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to want to come to uploads. Please remember, I'm going fast. 
you need to pause me, do this, and then come back and unpause me as you go. So I'm just doing the quick video. Um, uploads. Now, I already did a Roblox one, but I want the other one. So I'm going to upload an image. So you're going to click on Upload an Image. You're going to go to Device. Mine is going to be in here. Your, you will want to go to Recents. Uh, mine was Roblox. I already passed it. So here it is. I'm going to click Open. Like I said, when you guys do it, you will want to right-click Save Image As. And then when you go to Upload, you want to go to Recents. If it's not in Recents, check in Downloads or Images. Now that it's done loading, all I have to do is click it. Oops. Your favorite, oops, is, I say oops a lot. When you say oops, that means don't freak out. Just click redo. If you click redo or, I'm sorry, undo. Undo makes it better, makes it back. Okay, and there we go. Roblox is, and then you can also flip it if you want to flip it. All right. Your job is to put at least eight things on here about yourself. So you need to include your name. You need to make sure the spacing, that it's visible and legible. Um, let me show you where you view things. Um, if you go to your Google Classroom, no matter who you are, whether you're cohort A or cohort B, I just happened to go into Burns cohort A and classwork down here, um, wherever your Canva project is. That's the gizmos. Here's the all about me. Okay. This is what you're supposed to do. Your name, your favorites, make sure it's organized and you follow all of these things and be creative. Um, I also am going to show you um, how to check your weekly lesson plans through the hub. So um, you go make sure you are in your Google Classroom, whether it's your cohort A or cohort B. I'll go into cohort B this time. Classwork, Yellow Team Hub. What am I supposed to do on my virtual day today? Or if you're not virtual, what am I doing? Always click present. Present makes it bigger and it makes everything a live link. I'll wait for it to load. All right, come down here to weekly lessons. Click on weekly lessons. Now you can either click or do your arrow button to get to the next one. This is cohort A. If you're cohort B, you click again, cohort B. And I'll show you both. If you're cohort B, this is what you should be doing this week. Cohort B, you guys are in person, and this is what you should have done. If you're cohort A, you will see that it will look a little different just because they're in person. Wait, that says cohort B. Is that right? Yeah. No, I want to go to cohort A. Sorry, guys. Cohort A. There we go. Cohort A in person. So if you're virtual today, you should have finished your Canva project. Please do not share those with me. We will take care of those in class. And then uh, you need to be doing your gizmos. Uh, the gizmos link activity, log in through class link, guys, to get to gizmos. Um, I'll show you how to get to gizmos real quick for those people who may not know. Well, let me, let's see here. Your activity A is listed and you, you need to um, do activity A through your classroom. And the reason you need to do it through your classroom is because I have made a copy for you. Let me see here. Here you go. When you click on your activity A growing plants, it'll pop up. And it'll make a copy for you. So it should say your name right here. So if it was me, it would say Kristen Ramsdale Activity A. That means I now own it and I can type on this. So you would type your answers, blah, 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 blah. Please don't do blah, 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 blah. Think about it. Give me some really in-depth answers. When you finish Activity A, there should be a turn in button or marked as done. So let me show you how to get to Gizmos. Mine says PLSD staff marks. Yours will say PLSD 
D or student, but you want to go to class link. When you go into class link, you will look for your gizmos. I have all my stuff organized. Please remember you can organize those. Your gizmos is a um, light bulb with an eyeball, basically. And you see I have more classes. You guys will only have one class, but it will look like this, growing plants. You can click on it, or you can launch it from here. If you click on it, it looks like this. And then you just click launch gizmos. All right, I like to make it full screen. You want to make unmake it if you want to make it smaller. There you go. I encourage you guys to open up another tab um, so you can have your and then open up your uh, activity A so you can flip back and forth. Uh, let's see what else do for classroom. No matter who you are. Oh, you guys don't have it assigned yet, so I can't do it. Okay. okay, your virtual day. Click on it, and now I can flip back and forth. So um, you can't, I don't have a split screen. So you want to look here. It says, for my hypothesis, do you think seeds need um, water to start growing? Explain why or why not. So you're going to say yes or no, and then explain your yes or no. And then you need to set up your gizmo. Pot A right here. See where it says pot A? You're going to do a B, bean seed with two lights on with zero water. So you come back here, pot A, bean seed, click and drag, two lights on, zero water. All right. Activity B, or sorry, pot B, bean seed, two lights on, 50 milliliters of water. What you want to do, though, is notice how I have these two lights on. You want to make sure that those are consistent. 50 bean. And then pot C. See, I'm jumping back and back and forth from screen. Pot C is two lights and 100 milliliters. So I just move this up to 100 milliliters. Same two lights. We're going to talk about these in class. Those are called variables. And then you're going to click play. I'm not clicking play because I don't want to do your work for you. And then you have to analyze your results. When you analyze your results, you're going to be answering these questions. So you're going to be filling in how much water did you do? Well, it says right up here for pot A, you didn't use any water. How high did it grow? What was its mass? What was its appearance? Pot B, same thing. Then you're going to draw a conclusion. That's not a literal draw. It means you're going to come to an answer. Draw C, or Do seeds need water to grow? Yes or no? Uh, revise and repeat. Um, so is more water always better? And then you're going to create your own experience to find out your answer here. All right, guys. I know that was a quick tutorial, um, but at least that shows you what you need to do for your virtual days. If you have questions, um, please know that I will be teaching during Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. So I'm available Wednesday. But if you send me an email, I will check it after school and get back to you. If you need to reach out to anybody, um, Mr. Schwartz is the person to um, email for that. So good luck.